Hello everyone, I know I'm late to this, but that's okay, I'm still going to cover the badges. Let's start with the Hype Squad badges. These only work on the desktop version of Discord. I've noticed many people asking if it's possible to get them on mobile devices. Unfortunately, it's not possible. You need to be on the desktop version to find them. Go to your account settings and scroll down until you see Hype Squad. If you haven't taken the quiz yet, click Join. Hype Squad Discord will give you a five question quiz. Just answer it, and you'll be on your way. Depending on your answers, Discord will assign you to one of the following three Hype Squad houses from most common to rarest, balance, bravery, and brilliance. Getting the Discord Nitro badge is very self explanatory. But if you don't know how, I'll show you now. So go to User Settings, Nitro, there's your answer. The way to get the Discord Boost badge is also pretty straightforward but I'll still show you how to do it. So, here in server boost. Boost this server for $35 for a single boost. Are you crazy? If you keep boosting the same server for a long time, the boost badge will also evolve. Here are the current variations of the boost badge. I currently have three quarters of a year. That's what I have. Although the active developer badge is listed on the Discord blog as a rare badge, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, it's ridiculously easy to get this badge. To get this badge, you simply need to be the owner of at least one active bot. And by active, it means it must have a recent slash command used in the last 30 days. If you meet the following criteria, go to discord.com slash developers, and there should be a box in the bottom left corner telling you that you can claim the badge. If it's not there, follow the link you see on the screen and simply fill out the application. I can't show any of this since I'm not eligible for the badge. Submit it, reload your client with control plus R or command plus R, depending on your operating system, and there you have it. The partnered server owner badge is also quite self-explanatory, but it's awarded to owners of partnered Discord servers. You might be wondering, how the heck do I get my server partnered on Discord? Well, go to your server settings and scroll down until you see Partner Program. If you meet the following criteria, you can apply for partnership. You must have 2,000 members and be active enough. Funny thing is, I've tried applying for partnership four times. Yeah. I guess you can guess how that went. Spoiler alert, I've been denied partnership every time. The Discord staff badge is also very, very self-explanatory. People who work at Discord have this badge. No one else can apply for a job at Discord, although I highly doubt they'd accept you. Go to discord.com slash jobs to apply. The moderator program alumni badge is basically the same as the certified moderator badge. It can no longer be obtained. But because I'm lazy, I won't tell you how it used to be obtained. Well, I will tell you, but I'll just use old images because I'm lazy. First, you have to study in the Moderator Academy and then take an exam. If you were accepted, you should be active on a moderator server to which you are invited if you pass the exam. Just being active on the server doesn't guarantee that you'll get the badge. Well, that's the end of this probably short video. If you liked it and or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, as well as join my, well, practically dead Discord server.